Hi, this is Dr. Ole Jensen, Chairman of Detron Dental Implants. I just wanted to give you a clinical tip about uh, how to place implants. What we want to do is not place these implants subcrestal, not place them <laughs> supercrestal, but place them flat. And if you think about it this way, you don't want to have exposed titanium that later on in the, in the curricular space could get contaminated with bacteria and then lead to a certain circumferential lesion. So having said that, putting the, putting the uh, implant flush with the bone, that's easier said than done. Because the alveolar process is always angled, there's often need for grafting. And so the reason I'm giving this clinical tip is I want you to pay attention to the entire cervical aspect of the implant to make sure that's either grafted or uh, uh, you know, covered in bone. Now, in the interproximal areas where implants uh, are next to where the, the papilla is, the sub, you know, the sub uh, papillary bone, that does curve upward, and that's going to be sub um, osseous in those locations. I, I understand that, but in the in the facial and the and the palatal sides, uh, lingual sides, you want to have those those things uh, flush with bone and not exposed. If you have a dihiscence, such as in the anterior, and you don't graft it or pay attention to it, over time, this will get contaminated with bacteria and lead to uh, you know, potential for peri-implantitis. So pay attention at how the um, site looks after placement. Maybe you might need to do a membrane and grafting, and that's my tip for you for today. At the radiograph you see here very nicely, you see actually here a tissue level implant which is in place for I don't know 10 plus years and you see this has a 2.8 millimeter machine surface all the way down to here eh? and the same here and you see how the bone adapts and this is the sulcus and this is all highly smooth. Eh? And this implant here has 1.8 millimeter so uh, with a 2.8 millimeter, then the implant shoulder would have been at the crest. Now, when this is a site grafted four months earlier, there's going to be a lot of remodeling uh, when that implant goes into function. That's why you put it deeper. And then uh, the radiograph looks not so that the implant is so deep. Eh? But that's the way we have done tissue level implants since the late 90s. Uh, put them deeper to have this uh, chance uh, to have them only the smooth surface exposed to the sulcus. And I told him uh, we're going to give him it to start with eight weeks and then we take an ISQ and then he will get his crown. Very excited about it.